Now, of course, Brock doesn't want to be left out on the synthetic cubism, so he will jump on that train as well. And we will see Bottle, Newspaper, Pipe, and Glass. I love the titles. If only I did exams based on memorization. Anyway, this is done in paper collet, or stuck paper. In other words, collage. And what we have is these stuck pieces of paper mixed with charcoal line and shadow providing clues to the multiple views that we would tend to see from a cubist work. The pipe in the foreground is particularly interesting because it's actually very complex. It's cut through the paper, even though it appears to sit on top of the paper, and then it's lightly modeled in this very flat synthetic form. So when we look at the pipe, the pipe isn't actually there. The pipe is actually a negative space. So it's cut through the paper, not placed on top of it. But then to confuse that idea of negative space, he of course shades it, which we would expect of a form of positive space. So you see where this is getting confusing intentionally. Here again, when we see this picture, this is a cutout, a picture of a uh, piece of a cabinet. But you see the lines of that frame seem to continue off into the distance as if he's making it less real more of an illusion even though this is real or arguably an illusion seeing as it's a photograph we also have text the cubists love using text because text is never three-dimensional really when you see something printed in a newspaper they're not using three-dimensional letters they're using two-dimensional forms it's unquestionably two-dimensional and so it makes you question the dimensionality of whatever you're looking at. And here again, we have uh, this bottle and we've got some glassware and those are drawn, but they're not just drawn onto the paper, but they actually overlap onto the collage surface. Again, making you question where anything exists within the spatial reality of this image. So the first time you uh, look at this, you're finding mass produced materials in high art. This is not just a photograph that Picasso takes and uses in his still life. These are mass produced items that are being thrown into uh, this high art form by Brock. <laughs> 